Good morning, everyone. I'm Tanaya. I'm here in East Tulsa this morning. I'm out of the studio. It's kind of cool actually being out of the studio. But I'm in East Tulsa with Vince Gibbs. He's a Prince tribute artist, so we're going to have him play some songs for us in one second. And we will have much more on this story coming up tonight, later on the evening newscast on KGRH. Let me show you guys this cool picture really quick. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. And you've been doing this for a while now. That's right, been doing it quite a long time. All right, <laughs> here's the man. We're gonna hear him play Kiss. All right, all right, here you guys go. Let me spin this off. All right, guys, that was, sorry, 
I was about to sneeze. <laughs> that was <laughs> Little Red Corvette. That's my personal favorite print song, so I'll show you. Oops, let me show you a couple cute pictures, actually. I'm, I'm climbing around drums and stepping on random things. Sorry. <laughs> I was climbing over those drums. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. And where yeah. did you get this one? That was sent to me from a, a childhood classmate. Uh, he sent that to me right after we had our class um, reunion. Okay. And it's, it's, I thought it was just a very appropriate to put it in my studio. I love it. And this is definitely a pretty awesome studio. We have keyboards, Thank you. Thank you. speakers. I don't know what that is. Something for your feet. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's my uh, Something for your feet. Exactly. That's Here. me. Uh, several years ago in one of my Prince costumes. and uh, How many different costumes do you have? Oh my god. More I just, than you want to think of? Exactly. I just threw away a bunch because I had too many. Because I, uh -huh. have, I have one closet that's just dedicated to Prince uh, um, costumes. Mm -hmm. And it was getting too full. So I had to, yeah. when I moved into this house, I had to get rid of a lot of, a lot of things. So now I just keep it down to like double-breasted suits and... Um, the black pants with the white buttons going down the side. Okay. The ruffled shirt, of like course. This, like this red one, kind of? Yeah. Is this from go. a special thing? Y yes, exactly. That's a little special thing that I had made. Uh, I was doing a gig at that time. and um, So I have a pair of black pants just like that with, uh, with the white buttons going down. Because those pants are the most recognizable. For, for prints. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the shirts. Yeah, I got the big ruffled shirts. The ruffly shirt, shirts. Exactly. Or as... Um, uh, what they they say in, in the what was that one the series uh, he called it the puffy shirt oh puffy shirt uh, puffy Seinfeld shirt. Seinfeld, Seinfeld thank puffy you. shirt <laughs> so I've seen I have that. a couple puffy shirts couple I puffy I have shirts have a couple you know in case one gets dirty I have another fresh one clean one exactly <laughs> yay that's exactly. so awesome and you do for the, everyone here on Facebook Live you are a tribute artist so yes. you've done tons of things everywhere and I've done tons of things everywhere like I said I got started in La in Las Vegas. My very first professional show was in 1999, and how appropriate was that, right? I know, and, right? <laughs> and that's the reason they hired me, because 1999 was coming up, and they wanted to hire a couple of prints or artists, and they wanted to send them, um, send them around the country and around the world, because they had these big 1990 mm -hmm. shows they wanted to do. So they hired me, and my first gig with them was in um, California, in a little town called uh, Fresno. Fresno, Fresno yeah. California. And then when I, was, I was on a little Indian reservation at a casino, and we did a big New Year's Eve show, and that was that's how I got my feet wet, you know. And I've been doing it ever since. And like I said, I used to do it full time, just traveled all over the world doing this, but I kind of got tired of the traveling. And I, I bet it's home. draining. It's very draining for me. Twenty four seven jet lag. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Always have that. Exactly. So I'm enjoying just staying in Tulsa and doing local gigs here. I have a big show coming up on June 10th. Mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be in Okmulgee. It's uh, called the Maklahoma. Oh, cool. And we're going to have three days of tribute bands. Uh, um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And my band is going to go on that Friday. And we're called Vince and the Revelation. Ooh. Yeah, playing words, you know. Prince and the Revolution, Vince and the Revelation. Yeah, that's how, that's that's awesome. how we do it in the tribute industry. <laughs> that's so awesome. We're going to put on a live concert, two-hour concert. My, my live band, live drums, keyboards, guitars, bass, singers, everything. And we're going to just make you feel like you're at a true Prince concert. So for everyone that's never been to a Prince concert, come on out and you'll get... The I'll thrill. You like, yeah. You'll get the thrill <laughs> yeah. of it all. Exactly, exactly. I'll be like the closest thing that, that you can get to them right now, unfortunately. But I know, I'm gonna have it's fun. So sad. We're going to have fun and we're going to just give all the love out to the audience and have a big purple party. <laughs> Yay, purple party. Yeah. All right, let me sign off. All right, guys, thanks for joining us for this edition of Facebook Live. We're in East Tulsa. That's so right. I will, I maybe be back for midday. We're trying. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel, we're trying. You'll but make. I will see you guys on the midday and we'll have much more on this coming up on our later newscast. Bye, guys. Oh, Ooh, I like that. <laughs>